Okay, welcome back everybody to the Dream Whisperer of Jesus where we discuss and interpret prophetic dreams. Um, in this brief little video I'll, I'll just make a few brief comments about Sudan. I haven't got any prophetic dreams to share in this video. But um, yeah, I just... I guess the, the key thing when you're looking at Sudan, it's you won't hear this in mainstream media, but the, the really key thing to understanding what is happening in, is in Sudan is that the world is entering a second cold war, but the really key difference between the first cold war and the second cold war is that Russia and China have a lot of economic power. So in the first cold war, the Americans and the Western world pursued a policy of military containment against Russia, Soviet Russia and Communist China. But in the Second Cold War, because Russia and China have a lot more money, the Americans are going to try to pursue a policy of economic containment. So to do that, they're going to try and install and and yeah, just, just install and keep in power pro-Western governments across the developing nation because what the Americans want to do is, is make a sort of a de facto uh, policy of economic containment against Russia and China and to do that they need all pro-Western governments across the developing world so all the um, countries, governments in Africa. How many governments are in the African Union? Is it 50, 53? So every single government in Africa really needs to understand that the Americans are trying to entrench a policy of economic containment against Russia and China and to do that the Americans will they will stop at nothing to install pro-Western governments across Africa. So it's really sad what's ha what is happening in Sudan because the, the Americans don't care who wins in Sudan, whether it's the Sudanese government or the rapid support forces. All the Americans want is a pro-Western government and they will um, pledge money and support to both sides in Sudan and once there's a clear winner they will put more money, more weapons behind that government, but the price tag will be that that Sudanese government, whatever form it comes in, that it um, ditches China and Russia. So yeah, I just hope they can have some kind of peace agreement in Sudan, because otherwise the Americans will they'll just keep pushing their agenda. And the, the, they won't stop until they win. It's just exactly the same process is happening in Ukraine. And that they'll start the same kind of process in Sudan as well. So all the governments in, in Africa, including South Africa, you really have to pray for wisdom about how to deal, how to s position yourself in the second Cold War. I think the best position for most governments in Africa will be to position yourself as part of a neutral or non-aligned block and, and the most powerful countries in that neutral or non-aligned block will be countries like um, India, Brazil, possibly Indonesia and then yeah you, you'll have other countries like South Africa and and if, yeah, if all the countries in Africa are really wise, they'll be trying to position themselves in the non-aligned group rather than being drawn into Cold War conflicts between China, Russia and America and the Western world. Okay, thank you brothers and sisters in Christ for listening. I hope that um, gives you some sort of insight or support into what is happening in Sudan and and what are the strategic options and strategic economic options for South Africa. God bless you. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.